kind of cool. We can listen to more of them later, particularly in the <coughs> maze. But, uh, yeah, you got some interesting things to look at here. And then a questionnaire on the song, which is kind of funny. Answer within two minutes of listening. So, kind of interesting. I don't think we ever see any of the results, but as a questionnaire, in case you were curious about dark disquietness. Ah, uh, so, blah, 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 threshold utility. Cool. All right. Well, that's just a little optional thing. There's a room that seems very similar like that somewhere else. And I don't know. They're probably connected in some way, but just interesting. Uh-oh. Some curious voices <laughs> in my head. All right. So let's head in here. We got ourselves more treasure. Perfect. More astral blips would be nice, but no. We get some intrusive patterns. That's fine. All right. And then this will just kind of take us all the way back around to over here. There's nothing in the cafeteria. Um, but what the? Oh, hi. I see you've decided to join me. Let's just go ahead. There we go. The old one, two on this bastard. Oh my God. I hate these guys in the dentist chairs. Those guys are some of my least favorites. Oof. That was weirdly unintentional. Uh, I'll take it. Thank you. Now, stop it. Just stop it. Good God. Uh, I think there might be one research note down there, but I'm not gonna bother going for it. The guys in the in the wheelchairs are so annoying. I hate them. Take them out as soon as you can, because they're just gonna be flinging shit at you till you die. It's not good. All right. Level three. No, that's where the control point is. And they're blocking it off, man. Right. Come in, Price. This is Marshall. We need She's in trouble. What? I need to reach her. Yep. Alright, well, it's time to head to parakinesiology in the astral exhibition. So let's run towards the light. And we're gonna have to do some light platforming. That's okay. <laughs> it's the story of this game's life. And uh let's see what's in here. Oof! Hi guys! Sort of just hanging out here, I see. Oof, there's a sniper over there. All right, we want to be careful for that because he will wreck us. Yikes. Okay, you know what? Here, let's do a couple of these just while I'm too far away to do anything. All right, sniper man. Here, let's go this way. This is definitely another decent uh, sort of way. Ugh. Eat fire extinguisher fluid, man. All right, what about you guys? Anything else? Ugh. All right, there's a couple uh, different places for these guys to apparently just hide. You guys are just goddamn everywhere, aren't you? All right, just kind of hiding in every. Woo! Where was that? Is that you? That was totally you, man. Not cool. I don't like that. All right, done. <laughs> just a <laughs> goddamn rocket to the face. Ugh. All right, that was everyone. Good. You guys are jerks, man. Don't appreciate it. Emergency call supplement. And also, hold on. I totally didn't equip this, did I? All right, so we had 30. Now it's 37% extra health. So I'll be holding on to that. Might need it. All right, anything else? Nothing for weapons, probably. Nope, exclusive to spin, not worth it. Reload efficiently, not worth it. All right. Yeah, so there's actually surprisingly nothing in this room of interest. I mean, unless you want to look into each of the <laughs> areas. There's a guy that looks like he's suffering quite a bit in there. But you know what? No one has a, a degree in parakinesiology that cares to admit it. Okay, so astral blip, thank you. Ah, here we go. I will take this, and we can also enjoy the lovely <laughs> scenery behind us. Regarding the astral plane. What you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we'll collect the reward and hopefully launch efficiency. Rare. Damn. All right. We'll go and take some of this. His troopers are good, too. We still don't have... Uh, yeah, we still don't have a uh, charge, so wouldn't be worth it. I might actually get rid of this. I don't think I want to bother killing his charged in maintenance without getting hit, even though we are going to be returning there. 
I don't think it's particularly worth it at the moment. So let's get rid of it in hopes of something better, which is indeed Hiss Elevated. We will take that because we can do it. And as far as this is concerned, nope, all we need are astral blips. So let's keep going. Sorry, darling, I'm going to have to ignore you on this one. <laughs> okay, so we've got more stuff in here. What is this? You're going to tell me about the Astral Exhibition. So interestingly enough, they have physical models of what the Astral Plane looks like. So it's kind of curious that they are privy to this information. Now, this is interesting. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the Astral Plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind. even. Though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Right on, darling. Whoops, sorry. I tried to cancel out of it. <laughs> Instead, I just dashed into all of the research. All right, so I don't know about you. I'm sorry if you find that boring, but this is probably one of the opposite things of boring. I can't believe they keep that thing here. So... They actually brought one here, and this is terrifying. We need to get rid of it before we can move on, but as you know, they are basically invincible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by throwing some of this up, and if we can find another one, that'd be lovely. He's just going to constantly try to follow us, and what we need to do... Did that not... Oh, here we go. I'm going to set you in there. So we need to bring them in here, and then we need to run through this hallway all the way around in order to trap him in here, but you can actually just kind of juke him like that. Close the containment, and that's all we have to do. Jesus what was the Zero doing with that thing? I mean, we've seen the research notes. We know. So, oh, man, that sucks. All right, well, let's go ahead over here, grab some hard-earned treasure, and it actually had opened a door right over here upon locking them in there, so we continue onwards, and we can finally make our way. Answer, damn it. We need backup down here. Parapsychology. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. We certainly do. Now... His clusters, get rid of it as soon as you possibly can because he will heal everyone around him to an um, irritating degree. I absolutely hate it. So just get rid of these guys and probably some of those. Nice. Oh, geez. All right. I was actually his elevated. They're just hanging out here. What are you guys doing? There you go. All right. I don't know where you are. There. All right. Uh, Rocket Man. I don't know where you are, but maybe I accidentally killed you. Maybe. But yeah, anytime you see those guys, you definitely want to make sure to kill them. Otherwise, you're just going to be in for a rough time. And before we move on, actually, we can't go anywhere until everyone's dead, sadly. But I'm going to go and grab this real quick. Please and thank you. Astral Blip? Yeah! There we go. It might be getting close. Okay, so they're all going to start spawning up there. So let's go ahead and uh, meet up with them. Something, my bitches? Ugh, yeah. Doesn't feel so good, does it? No. 
don't know what you are, but you're dead now, so. <laughs> Damn. Hello. Which, is that you shooting me with explosives at close range? I, I appreciate it. All right, well, let's go ahead and, ugh, nice. <laughs> I don't think that was the one I was even aiming at. All right, we got a big boy up there. Uh, he's gonna have a bunch of grenades. Use it against him and miss because <laughs> we have bad aim. All right, one more time. Boom. Sometimes they just walk away also. All right. So let me just get rid of some of your friends because they seem to be doing a lot more distraction distractions than you are. Good God, man. Yeah, they really want you to be throwing grenades at these guys. All right, you guys can just leave me alone. All right, are we good? Did we win? I think we did. Nice, and you know what? I think we are good on collecting everything we need to. So, with that, let's cleanse it and get a new weapon. Okay, sounds good. So first off, we can actually already do, the, well, we just had to kill the one guy, so let's collect that. Dodge efficiency, great. And we can also kill some hiss snipers using pierce. So let's go ahead and have that, re-snipe them. <laughs> and I also, I love like the board's input on it, like sniper minus S, snipe minus S, but with slash without being snipe minus D. <laughs> it's like, it's cool. And it makes sense what you need to do. I kind of wish they only showed the board's interpretation of the mission, but it's just kind of funny just how they do it. Ability slash objects like skills are the greatest assets. Cool. All right. Oh no, am I short? Am I still, I'm still short. Oh man. I thought we grabbed a third. All right. That's fine. We'll grab that soon enough. But for now, let's grab some of this. A captive audience. What is this? Oh, the x-ray. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. All right, so I wasn't too far off. Uh, intrusive patterns, a group think. So we are definitely gonna go ahead and do that real quick before moving on downstairs. It's not the most important thing to do. It's completely optional, actually, but it could certainly help. So let's grab this. Please, some treasure in this little area, Let's sneak peek back to a previous point. And was there, oh, there was one more. All right, more research. Precognitive powers. Interesting. And then amongst other places over here, it doesn't seem like there's gonna be all that much. I think there was actually a security room because that will lead us to, yeah, hypnosis. That's where we need to go for the x-ray. But instead, we can run back over here and head to the extrasensory lab. I don't think there's actually anything in here, is there? I don't remember. Something tells me probably not. So instead, we're going to go ahead and jump on over here and grab the one treasure <laughs> in the futile hope that it is an astral blip, but holy shite. All right, so we've got a new type of mod here. Ooh, we got a lot. Don't need that. We have the Prime, which is the level four uh, sort of thing. Health boost isn't particularly helpful, so I'm just gonna get rid of it because I'll, I'll probably get a better one later. We get rid of that. Uh, evade energy cost, I'm fine. Plus 30, what the, what is this? Oh, 37, okay. I guess <laughs> I'm losing track of everything. We're still not getting anything. Although this, I probably should just equip on that. So spin rate of fire versus the spin grouping efficiency. Yeah, it's probably all right, actually. I'll get rid of it. This is fine. I would rather have the rate of fire rather than, because I already do burst shots with that weapon anyway. All right, so nothing really in here, not even with this lovely tape recorder. So let's get the hell out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz. Welcome to Control. Uh, not a whole lot else to do in the parakinesiology sector, but we're going to go ahead to the hypnosis lab because uh, it turns out we found ourselves a couple of documents that told us we should check this out, and for good reason. I see it. 
I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. Hell yeah. And unfortunately, we can't get in there just yet. Not unless we grab some treasure. So, let's grab that and see if we can find out. Hey, there it is. The last one. Cool. Alright. Yeah, this is kind of a freaky ass place. So, we're going to start being introduced to a new type of puzzle. One that's not super difficult, but still annoying nonetheless. And it's these cube puzzles that we need to match with certain shapes that you may or may not see in its immediate vicinity. Such as this one, where it shows the cube having its borders filled in by basically one layer and then the upper one being filled in all the way full while the center sort of diamond is affixated to the top so that doesn't make a lot of sense but basically we need to match that with this by just like doing this and we'll do it like this and boom so I literally just went up right down left over and over there but you can cheese it pretty easily it's not that hard uh, it's, some of them get kind of weird later. It's it's not difficult, but it opened the door over here, which means we're about to step in and deal with. Name for the record, Paul Warren, astronaut, first class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entanglement. 